Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Dragonfly Bees. My name is Susie, and today we're going to be opening up a Thread Up mixed jewelry box. I was so happy when uh, I was able to purchase two last week. It's been a long time since I've gotten one. The last time was probably in the spring of 2020. Uh, so the delivery arrived today. The funny thing is, This box is so big and heavy. Do they normally? That that was very heavy. Um, do they normally pack two mixed jewelry uh, boxes in such a big box? Well, we'll find out. Okay, this box came from Phoenix, Arizona. So let's see what we got. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I forgot I ordered the shoe box. I was wondering why the box is so big. They're shoes. Okay, I guess this is going to be a shoe video. <laughs> well, this is my very first box of uh, shoes from Thread Up. Uh, first pair out of the box is this um, Reaction Sandal by Kenneth Cole. It's a gold band in front. They're wedge, wedge sandals. They look okay, except I noticed that this whole ankle strap here is, is really worn. Uh, part of it is peeling off off so I don't know this is something maybe I'll just donate they um, they're a size 9 you see the ankle straps look look at all the threads all the frayed threads I mean they're sweet I mean if anyone's interested in anything in this video please email me at dragonflybees at gmail.com okay next pair next pair I found are these really flat boots they don't even have a heel uh, they need to be cleaned on the bottom it's made by Roxy they're very uh, long there's some sort of like oh very soft very soft like faux shearling inside on the back they have this like chevron pattern the toes look a little bit scuffed the back looks pretty good uh, there is an inside zipper I see some of the threads pulled out Let's open it up to see what size it is. Oh, that fur goes all the way, all the way down. And you can see it says Roxy. It's really soft inside. Um, okay, here's the tag. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. I, I'm not familiar with this brand. Um, but they look, it's like a brown faux, faux, I don't know, smooth, smooth, uh, kind of like a nylon uh, type of boot. The zippers are good. Same thing on this side. Oh, it even says Roxy on the, on the zipper. Yeah, they zip nice. I mean, yeah, they, these are sweet, eight and a half. Very pretty. They look super comfortable. Oh, there's even a little uh, logo on the edge, on the top. Okay. Roxy, Roxy High. They look. They go over the knee. Yeah, they definitely go over the knee. Boots. Okay. Next up. We have these 
sneakers uh nothing new they it says nothing new on thursday it says that inside too they look like they have never been worn i don't know this brand either they look like in they're in excellent shape um nice color it's kind of like a um beigey tan canvas let's see what size they are handcrafted using the highest quality sustainable materials size seven wide nice okay um something to list yeah it was so funny that um i thought this was jewelry because uh i seriously did not remember buying the shoe box uh this is my first time purchasing the shoe box from thread up uh it cost 90 dollars, so you get 15 pairs of shoes and um so that comes out to like six dollars a pair so yeah anyone interested don't forget email me moving on wow 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 okay next we have this really high platform sandal it has like a cork um, bottom and it zips up in the back and it has these woven straps in front and it's made by wild diva wild diva wild diva lounge it's a seven and a half. The zippers work good. Yep, let's look at the bottom. Oh wait, let me get my measuring tape out. I haven't worn shoes. I don't think I've ever worn shoes this high. Um, wow. These heels are five inches, five inches high. Oh, th there's some puckering here, so they're not in the not in the greatest condition. You see that the way it's puckering. Um, same goes on the other side. Uh, all right, I don't know. I guess this is another pair I'll end up donating. Um, the front looks good. The bottoms. They look to have been worn, and the heels look pretty uh, look pretty good too. I mean, I could clean them up and try to list them, but you know, when it has this on everywhere, see you see how how it um, it puckers up. I, I don't think this is a I don't think this will sell. So with six dollars a pair, I would have to tack on that six dollars onto another pair. Same goes with that first sandal we, we saw um, for cost of goods. So this uh this this is a no. Okay, we got sandals again. Oh my. Like I said, this is my very first thread up shoe box, and uh, these are really worn. Um, I mean you these can be washed. I mean, you could see the person's uh, toe outline. They're just a plain canvas, um, red knotted, um, heeled, wedge heel sandals, slip-ons. They look okay. There's absolutely no name, no brand. You could see all that glue on the heel. I mean the back is really clean I mean the bottom the bottom is very clean they they're a size 8 there's no um, there's no brand that I can see so I don't know anyone want these you could pay what I paid <laughs> Next, next is a, a pair of uh, purple leather loafers from um, Nordstrom. 
they're they're suede on on the um, on the outside here. I think it's real suede. And then this this here is the uh, leather, kind of like a alligator print. And also in the back, the heel. There's slight wear on on one side. You see that. Oh yeah, they have been worn. Look at that. They're a size eight and a half. These are the fronts. They're super soft. Very pretty, pretty. Um, oh, look at that. There's a big stain on one side. Oh, okay. Hey, you know what? You never know what you get, right? Nost Loafers by Nostrum. Oh, did I mention these all came from uh, Phoenix, Arizona? Here is a flat, flat shoe in this kind of like gray cotton fabric with the, uh, the knot. Well, no, it's kind of like a wrap wrapped front. They are made by Charlotte Roos. They have a cute animal print lining. Uh, the heel is okay. They're okay. The fronts are okay. Let's see what size these are. Um, I don't see, I don't see a size, and the bottom is so, um, faded, I can't tell. Well, hmm, hang on. Okay, you know what? I'm an eight, and these look like to be a nine, but I'm I don't know for sure. I'll have to look closer and measure them. But uh, yeah, that's that's this. Next, we have another sandal um, in navy blue. Uh, these are all elastic bands. It is by Monroe. Monroe. Okay. It's in a seven and a half medium. This is the heel. Monroe. Proper size, perfect fit. Latex natural rubber. What does this say? Shock shock absorbing heel. Okay, they're about like a one inch wedge seven and a half they look good um let's look at the fronts they look yeah this is in a good condition mm, yeah so monroe monroe um navy blue kind of like a gladiator style front um yeah you just slip you just slip it on because this is uh, elastic. There's no buckles or anything. Is there? No. And you just slip it on. Size seven and a half. Monroe. Okay, next mm -hmm. up we have these uh, stiletto sandals with these very strappy um, faux suede kind of wine color um, straps. By Steve Madden. The heels look a little um, scuffed up, but not, not, no, not too bad. Let's look at the other side. Yeah, they look, they look uh, pretty decent. Okay, there's a scratch there. I mean, the heels are not ripped. They look good. 
see how high these are. Okay. It's about a four and a half. Four and a half stiletto. They they have a little buckle that you would wear in the back. Let's look at the bottoms. Oh, these are worn, but they can be washed. The fronts are okay. The bottom needs to be scrubbed a bit. Um, not bad. These are size nine. Uh, nine uh, medium. So yeah, Steve Madden wine color strappy stiletto sandals. Okay, next pair we have our Franco Sardo. Franco Sardo black, I believe they're leather, black leather slingbacks. Um, needs a little cleaning. Here's the back. It's got like this uh, wooden heel. The heels look good. Let's look at the front. Not bad. The bottoms. Okay. See how worn they are? Very slippery. I mean, you, you should put like the rubber guard on here because it, it's so slippery and soft. I mean, smooth. <clears throat> okay. What size are these? I don't know. Let's look inside. I don't see a size. Hmm. Don't see a size. Oh, wait. No. Nope. 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 No. All right. You know what? Let me try them on. Okay, they feel like a 7. Because I'm an 8. They were just... A little snug, but Franco Sardo black slingback sandals. Um, let me measure the heel on these too. This heel is about three inches, and there you have it Franco Sardo slingbacks. Okay, so that was a tenth pair. We got five more pairs to go. Here is a um, beige suede block heel uh, pump with the pointy uh, pointy front. Okay, they look like a uh, okay that that just could be cleaned off. They look like. They're in okay condition. Let's see who makes this pair. Aldo. Okay, this is an Aldo pump. Let's look at the bottom together. Okay, so that's the front. Do you see there's some um, some of the black edging rubbed off? <laughs> you could use a Sharpie and paint it back in. Uh, and this... Um, there is some wear right there and here. These are, I don't know what size they are. They look pretty big though. Oh, here. Okay. Can you see that? I can't even see it. Oh, these are a size 8. They're cute. I mean, the the issues were on the inside and not so much on the on the out, outside. So yeah, um suede pumps. Okay, next up we have a pair of sneakers. They are Vans. They have that checkerboard pattern in the front 
and the back. They need a really good bath. Off the wall. Vans off the wall. Um, here's the front. There is some wear right there. Here's the bottoms. The bottoms look okay. Like I said, they just need to be cleaned. Um, let's see what it says inside. Uh, seven. See that? No, eight. I was reading the uh, UK size. So these are eight, I guess, in men's. Oh, it tells you the woman's size on the opposite side. So that's a nine and a half in, in, uh, in women's. Right? There's, they are worn. Look at the inside. And here. I mean, I don't see any, uh, rips. Uh, it just needs a really good washing. I guess. Okay. Vans. Next up we have this pair of um, evening shoes in oh, what is this? Lace. It's a lace front by Stuart White Weitzman. Okay. It's very pretty. Can you see the lace pattern? back is the heel. The heel is very, uh, very low. I would say about two, three inches. Here's the heels. They look to be in good shape. So, kind of. Here's the bottoms. It's scuffing on the toe cap. Scuffing on the bottom. Made in Spain. Oh, there's the heel. Can you see the heel? I don't see a size. That's not... Hmm. I don't see any sizes. I see numbers, but that looks like a style number. Um, I see a six. It could be a six because they look really tiny. Hang on. Let me, uh, let me be Cinderella again. Yeah, they could, they could be a six or a seven. They're very, uh, narrow. I don't know the size for sure. It's something I, I guess I have to measure. Um, I could measure that and put it on the screen. But these are pretty evening, evening shoes. Very nice. With Weitzman. Another pair of sandals here. Oh, these look fun. Uh, these are espadrilles. This is very stretchy. It comes in this uh, crisscross pattern. And you just slip into it. There's no buckles. It's all um, stretch elastic. This bottom feels like a... You know um, when you buy flip-flops that, that rubber... Uh, that rubber sole. That's what it feels like. It has C C Star. C Star? Anyone ever heard of C Star? Just needs a little cleaning. I mean they're very sweet. I guess they were worn or maybe tried on. They have that um, straw detailing on the side, and then the rubber, rubber bottoms, and it says Sea Star Beachwear. There is some very minimal wear on the bottom. This all can be cleaned up, and then they'll they'll look great. Um, yeah, these these are nice. Let's see what size they are. Uh, 
I don't see I don't see a size. Come on, people. Oh, take that back. Seven. These are a size seven. These are really pretty. Um, yeah. Sea Star Espadrill, size seven. Really nice. Okay, last pair coming up next. This is the last pair in the box. I found another pair of boots. Um, nice brown with this double belt uh, embellishment. And the belt actually has like some of these um, rhinestones on them. On it goes all around. It's a nice, comfortable uh, heel, about about an inch. Okay, this other one. The rhinestones, they're all there. Has a little uh, tab on top. Let's let's take a look at the heels. The heels are in good condition. Um, they need to be cleaned up. I mean, there are some... Oh, is that a rip? Is that a rip? Is it? Or is it just dust? <sighs> okay. I, um, yeah, these can be cleaned up. I mean, it does have a nice distress look to it, so I don't think it'll matter too much. Um, this is the way the bottoms look like. It's, it has been worn because you see uh, there is a, a slight grid that's kind of fading. They are a eight and a half medium. the front. Here's the bottom. Here's the heels. I mean they look they look nice. And I did see it I did see the maker. It is it's guess. So these are guess booties. I mean really cute. Eight and a half uh, medium. Can you see that? So it's guessing there. So these are, um, I don't see zippers. I don't see, yeah, you just slip these in. You slip these on, duh. You slip these on. So these can be cleaned up a bit, but this is a nice, this looks like a great pair of um, guest booties with the rhinestone embellishments. I mean, th these are nice. So that's it. That's it for my first thread up shoe box. I hope you enjoyed this. I mean, it's so funny. I seriously thought it was jewelry. I'm like, what? But you know what? That means I'll be getting the jewelry next. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button or better yet, subscribe. That way, uh, You'll be alerted of any uh, new content that comes along the way. Thanks, everybody. I hope to see you soon. Bye.